Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Adil Riyaz, Consultant Radiologist at Elias Medical and Diagnostic Center, Lahore. Today we are here with the 8th episode of our ultrasound training course. And in this episode, we are going to learn how to realize the spleen. The spleen is a um, bit tougher structure to be visualized on ultrasound because it is lying under the left side of the rib cage. And um, to visualize it, rib shadow is obscuring it from the sound waves. So to visualize it, the patient has to move, uh, made some effort. I will ask the patient to take a deep breath so the diaphragm moves downward and the spleen moves downward to be clearly visualized on the spleen. Coming to the position of the patient, the patient will be on the right lateral position. The left side of the patient is up. Uh, the area I will be targeting is the um, mid axillary line just below the rib cage. And uh, the probe I'm using is the same probe which I have used in all the abdominal ultrasounds that is uh, my curved array 3.75 megahertz probe. So to begin with, I'm going to apply the gel, making sure that the tip of my gel bottle is not touching the upper surface of my probe, so it should not be damaging it. So let's start with the scan. I will put my probe in the mid axillary line just below the rib cage. Here I have put my probe and this is left kidney which is easily and immediately visible under my probe. Now when I will have focused the left kidney I will tilt my probe a little bit downward and this is the spleen. This semi-lunar structure visible on the screen is the spleen. I will ask the patient to take, take a deep breath. When the patient takes a deep breath, the spleen moves downward. But in this case, it is uh, being relatively obscured by rib shadows, normal sans So I will ask the patient to keep on breathing normally. I'll, I will push my probe a little bit downward and now you can see that the spleen is visible in its entire length and width. So this is spleen. This is clearly visible. Only its uh, the side margin is being cut. To measure the spleen, I will measure it from the uppermost point to the diaphragm. This is the length of the spleen. This is in this case is 9.3 centimeter. And to measure the width of the spleen, I will measure it from the splenic hilum up to the its uh, uh, posterior margin. So this is the width of the spleen. So the normal length of the spleen should be less than 13 centimeter in an adult in the maximum um, dimension. And the, the other um, thing we should uh, be measuring is the splenic index. To measure the splenic index, I will multiply the length of the spleen with the width of the spleen and the value I will get is the splenic index. The splenic index should be less than 45 in a healthy normal individual. The pathologies which could be associated with the spleen are splenomegaly, splenic abscess, splenic rupture after the trauma or um, splenic granuloma, splenic metastasis. All these um, uh, things can affect the spleen. With, I will upload um, all these pathologies in the upcoming shorts and um, I will make short videos to show you all these pathologies. So you can see that the spleen is the uh, organ for which I put my probe only at a single point and I only tilted it backward. So I could be visualizing under the rib cage. My sound waves would have crossed under the rib cage. It was it is the I personally I think so that the most um, difficult organ to visualize in abdomen after pancreas is the spleen. With this, we came to an end of this episode. Uh, we will be back with a new episode, and in the next episode, we will be uh, we learn how to visualize the urinary bladder. Till then, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Do share the videos. Thank you so much.